Hey everyone, it's David Primer here from Cerebral Selling and today you join me at the scene of the crime, so to speak. I am here in incredible Lake Louise in Banff National Park where, fun fact, I proposed to my wife almost 20 years ago to the week. And since marriage is a bit of a journey of discovery, today I have a very important discovery tip for you. In fact, it's so important, it's a bit of a public service announcement. Now, unfortunately, the thing I want to talk about today is a discovery trap that I still see too many sellers fall into, and that's the trap of asking what I call leading questions. So, what's a leading question? Well, a leading question is a bit like a logic trap. In other words, it's a question you ask your customer where your goal is to get them to give you the one answer you want. So, for example, the worst discovery question I've ever been asked was a leading question from a vendor whose booth I was passing by at a trade show. So, as I'm walking by, he stops me and asks, Sir, do you like to save money when you shop? Right, cue the eye roll, right? Because if I say yes, which is the popular answer, that's what the seller wants me to say, I'm essentially giving them consent to do all their sleazy sales things to me. But if I say no, then I'm an idiot, right? So what do I do? I keep walking and ignore the salesperson because like you, I don't like to be led into questions designed to trap me. And while as flagrant as that example may seem, as salespeople, we sometimes ask our customers leading questions that can be just as bad. For example, you might ask your customer something like, do you think running your business with a modern automated billing and invoicing system would save you time and money? Or you might say, you know, as an IT manager, do you feel it's important to have real-time insights into potential threats to your company's network? You see, when I ask leading questions like these with an assumptive tone, I do two bad things. Number one, I catapult my customers immediately into a defensive mode where they withdraw and become closed off from the conversation. And number two, the tactic actually makes them hate salespeople in general, which makes life difficult for all of us. So my ask of all of you, take a look at your checklist of discovery questions and ask yourself if they fit this leading question profile. And if they do, reframe them and the tone that you ask them in to be more genuine. So for example, instead of asking, do you feel it's important to have real-time insights into potential threats to your company's network? Ask a two-pronged question like, how quickly do you typically get alerted to threats in your company's network? Followed up by, number two, are you happy with that number? On a side note, there's some crazy awesome science behind the order of those two-pronged questions. If you want to watch a video about it, just click on the pop-up banner above to take a look. But in any event, that's my important discovery tip for today. Keep those questions honest and genuine and resist the temptation to lead your customer into a logic trap. Hope you had a great time here at Lake Louise. See you next time.